What's up guys, it's your boy Let's Press Play here. And today, I am shooting a video on the A300 STX. All right, what's up guys? Today, oh my God. What's up guys, it's your boy Let's Press Play. And today, I am going to shoot a video on the ASRock A300 STX mini desktop. Damn, finally. Okay, everybody online been calling this desktop the console killer. And I agree, man. God, dogs out there barking. I agree. I agree, it's the console killer. Now, when they were calling it the console killer, they were putting the Ryzen 5 2400G and the Ryzen 3 2200G in it, if I said that right. I didn't see anybody put the Ryzen 5 3400G. And when they did, all they really did was like benchmark it. They didn't really like get into what we love most and that's gaming. So um, today's video is about what we all love if you're here watching emulation. And we're gonna do probably some PC gaming to really push it and test it out. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. The specs are the Ryzen 5 3400, 16 gigabytes of HyperX RAM clocked at 3200. I actually was able to fit a five terabyte mini drive in there, but I highly recommend you don't do it because I had to bend a few parts, hit a few parts with the hammer and really get it in there. But I got it in there. But um, let's get into this video, man, so you guys can tell me what you guys think personally. All right.
Well, there you have it. The Ryzen A 300 Mini XTS. STX. Damn. This little thing packs a punch. It's a, it's a beast of a machine. Okay, so the videos. I wanted to talk a little bit about the video. Now, Samu, when I was playing Samu, I had a little bit of a glitch in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I just wanted to let you guys know, when I turned on Samu, it was like right out the box. I didn't touch anything, tamper with any graphic packs or anything. So, just, you know, if you guys wonder like, hey, what's going on? I'm just letting you guys know that could be a minor fix, just messing around with the graphics packs. The graphics packs, they have graphics packs specifically for AMD integrated graphics, so, you know, I just didn't, I just didn't touch it. I just wanted to show it to you guys in its purest form. Also, other gameplay might look a little pixelated. That's only because I didn't have the proper screen recording program. I just downloaded like some Windows software. It was called Encore or something. It's, it's actually trash. It's not really good at all. But being as though I always use Nvidia to screen record, you know, and being as though this board is, you know, integrated graphics, no no Nvidia GPU. I just grabbed the quickest screen recording software I could and added it to show you guys what this gameplay was about. But uh, other than that, actually without the screen recorder on, the games played and performed a lot better and they look great. They look great. You just really can't tell with, the, with that program but they look great. I was able to enhance uh, the PC games. I was able to um, enhance uh, GTA and I was able to enhance Batman. They were, they looked amazing and they played at a sustainable frame rate. It was, I didn't go under like 55. So, you know, hope you guys like it, man. The A300 STX ASRock Mini. I just said that all in different kinds of ways, but this thing is a beast, man. If you guys are into like small console building, I should highly suggest you get this. Just don't do what I did and like force parts in it that's not supposed to be in there. Thanks guys. If you guys like this video, please hit me with a like and subscribe. If you have any comments about what I did and other things that I put in here, hit me below and I'll get to you guys as soon as possible. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys later.